Digging presents the Free 99 Podcast. Be sure to follow us on SoundCloud, iTunes, YouTube, Bahia Radio, Spotify, Twitch, Instagram. Search FREE99 Podcast. Shout out to all the sponsors. Shout out to all the listeners. Uh, Mono in the building. Uh, Ramel in the building. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I'm a good homie, Gus Customer Service. Episode 134, Fitch. 134. 134, Fitch. Free 99 Podcast. Let me get toast. Let me get toast. 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 134. I got my Philly Philly hat on. Shout out to Philly Phil, man. Shout out to Philly Phil. Mmm. Ah, the nicest. It's the nicest. Um, nice. there, we there we go. Can you hear me? Hear me? Ooh, ooh. It's like we in your mouth. And, well, Ramel will call this. This is the audio umami. umami. Audio umami boys. <laughs> audio umami boys. You can add boys to anything, and it's a, it, it makes it sound that much cooler, right? Absolutely. Like you can say like fresco boys. That sounds can like you? a Latin freestyle. Like um, who let the dogs out? Kind oh, of, kind of group. Ooh, is that a, the Baker Boys? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Baker? No, this was the Baker Boys. But if you if you spell boys B O I Z, then it's automatically Asian, right? Is that is that spelled like that? Because of Playboy Cardi? B O I is, is that where that kind of stemmed from? I don't know. I thought it was because of koi fish. Okay, or or koi palace, which is way too expensive. Way too expensive. Way too expensive. Take your ass to Grand Palace. Yeah, well, that's still take your ass to TC Pastry. TC but not, Pastry will work. Not on a Tuesday though. But see, you can't and have cash. Why? Why? T- why not on Tuesday? Because they're closed, bro. Oh, I don't know that. Do you even eat dim sum in Daly City? No, I do. I do. You know who doesn't eat dim sum with us? Who? This, I haven't. I, <laughs> I haven't eaten dim sum with you either. So you can't say like we. That's were, true. That's we're true. out there. Dropping dumplings. Yeah. <laughs> Drop, <laughs> dropping stacks on dumplings. I had my egg roll in her dumpling. My dumplings in her mouth. You know who said that? You. Yes. And Jin the MC. Jin the MC. That's funny. When when he it was a battle rapper when they were uh he was on the 106 departure. That's one of his verses that that got him over the top. He he Eminem that guy by using an Asian reference on him that that killed him. Did you? I, I was like heavy into the battle scene. I'm talking about early on, like. When it was like Juice versus Super Nat. No, I no? I, had, I had no idea. Oh I'm not going to lie. Like, as much as I wanted to, like Supernatural? Yeah. I, but- I, I met him at Papa Lotus. And, like, that dude, uh, I remember I went to a concert and he he did this thing to where everyone had, took stuff out of their pocket or out of their purse and he just freestyled about the item that you put in the air. I can tell you right now, that is not impressive. Because everyone's going to have a lighter. I can do the everyone's same thing. Have li- Yo, cigarettes. let's freestyle. Oh, Super Nat coming off of the bat. Oh, look at Gus wearing that P hat. You know, he like does that. It's very like, it's very elementary. Like, when, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> he's a lot like Stalin. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, August had me a bottle because you know I go full throttle. You know, it's just like. The fat boy. Very fat boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Fat boys. Very elementary. Shout out to Super Nat, though. You're really hey, one of the greats. Sh- better than me. <laughs> <laughs> better than I. Can't tell me shit. Yeah, man. Battle rapping. It, it's kind of like taken off and like become its own thing where it, it has this crazy following. There, There's a um, there's almost like a, a league for it, right? Yeah, there's a le- There's like a channel on YouTube. Is, and uh, is, it, sma- is it Smack? I think, I think it's Smack TV. There's one that uh, that Drake owns, right? Or he he's an investor in it. In like, damn that and Euphoria. Drake's in you. Euph- Drake. He's investing. like one of the dude. No wonder he's in. That's no wonder he bet two hundred and seventy five thousand dollars on on uh what's his name Jorge Masvidal. He gives money away though. Yeah, he does. He has so much of it that he gives it away. I was kind of confused too because I think the betting site must have been in like uh, Canadian money. Ah. And they're like 20, uh, 275000 but it was like so much more. I was like, oh. No, Canadian money was worth more than us, I think, for a second. Was it? I, I know Australian was for a hot second. It, where's Drake land on uh, on your on your rapper radar? High. High. Okay. And, and what what is it that makes Drake uh, a high a high, uh, a high person on that radar? I just think he's... He's on your five, though. Uh... Maybe my ten or seven. See, there's and there's different fives. Like there's five your favorite five lyricists, your favorite five rappers, your right. favorite. You know what I mean? There's yeah. Sorry, and then favorite five girl rappers. What about fa- what about favorite five new rappers? I couldn't name you five really? new rappers. I can't. Mono can. Mono, you fucking Mono new rap? can. Yeah. Mono can. I mean, top five is like. 
shit, that's hard. Is Corday considered new? Because yeah. a, because a top five of new today, like the five doesn't even compare to the bottom five of all time. You know what I mean? Maybe may, maybe maybe you might compete with the bottom twenty of all time, but top five today doesn't is, is Ex- not even that great. Ex- yeah. Who would be in your top five then? Today? <laughs> yeah. J. Cole. Yes. J. Cole yeah. is considered yes. okay. is considered today. Yeah. Yes. Benny the Butcher is considered today. Yes. Well, but that's fuck, wait. That's Griselda, See? right? Wait, Griselda? because he's been around for hell long, but he didn't blow up till recently. Mm. He's been around since early. He's 2000s. new to us, though. New to us. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I, guess, I didn't hear about that dude till the last like two years. I yeah. guess we have to we have to like define when does it start to be a new rapper? I say rappers like, under twenty five. Oh, okay. Damn. okay. Like new, is that new. considered new rappers? Yeah. Well, no. Hey, boogie with a hoodie. Uh, fucking Kodak her, Black, thirty under Savage. is safe. No, but that's like younger rappers, right? That's today rap, right? But that's, what about J Cole? How old is he? Okay, I think. Yeah. And what about Young Thug? He's not that young. Yeah, it's a hard uh, category to categorize. It is. I like Young Thug though. I I enjoy a bit of Young Thug. I couldn't name you one song. I'm I'm that washed. TikTok, bro. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. Oh, oh, all right. Wash, Wash House, Wash House Records. I don't <laughs> super wash. Do all of your Do all of your songs start off with a, a three, a, a one, two, three, a three, a two, one, <laughs> <laughs> or that one horn? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I bet you in all of the songs on your playlist, they at least say "Party People" one time. Sorry, guys, we switching mic. No, it's cool, man. Let me just. Uh, I'll, I'll go and talk about this uh, music stuff. Yeah, I, I, new rappers. There are some good ones though. I prefer the baby over. Oh no, I'm sorry. I prefer little baby over the baby. And what's 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 cool about that is the fact that they don't care that their names sound similar. That's yeah. Because I think that would be some petty shit for like our generation. Oh, for sure. Like if there was a KRS one and then a KRS three, <laughs> there would be over one KRS, <laughs> <laughs> one KRS, or like a KRS one and a Chris one. Yeah. You can't have that shit. No, you cannot. That is not allowed. Ah, uh, lot, of, lot of technicals. Not a tech, oh my goodness, oh. lot of technicals. It's oh. loose. It's but loose. At least it's not my sniffles this yeah, time. Yeah, I know. Sorry, that's me. That's all. That's all. It's all GUS. Um, I, I, I enjoy Corday. Corday's dope. His new album was okay. First album was really. Dope. I couldn't tell you an album though, but I enjoy Corday. I, I really like. The, ba- the baby's a dude from North Carolina, right? Yeah. That the song that got me in was Bop, and that that after that I was like, who is this dude? The best explanation I've heard of uh, of one of his albums is like, if you like the baby's music, uh-huh. then this album is for you because it's always kind of like the same. Like he he doesn't ride kind of like the beat. He he finds he always finds his own rhythm, right? But it's always the same rhythm like on every song. He has a he has a great cadence because it's a and, and and the way he mumbles it's, yeah it's loose and it's just like he's talking it's a blah, 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 you know but it, it's not like he's trying to be like uh, I'm a super fast rapper like like a twister or like how uh, or like a uh, crucial conflict with rap right yeah crucial conflict was tough yeah 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 but like what about having kind of like that like to do all of it right like I think Jay Z that's what makes him great because he, he, he has that range yeah he can go halftime on like Big Pimpin. And then he can go like he can ride the beat like on any other song. Is Nas higher than Jay Z on your lyricist list? No, uh, it's hard because you know everyone. Yes, it is. Everyone's comp- Hello, <laughs> he's new here. <laughs> Hi, I just started listening to hip hop. Um, it's hard. <laughs> hip hop is hard. The hard the the hardest thing is because everyone says Nas's production up until he met Hit Boy has been. Fucking horrible. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's had like maybe some stuff with like Premiere, because Premiere did his like early stuff and he did some other stuff. But yeah, I mean, you can see Nas is taking off right now because of who's producing his shit. That ring money's good money. <laughs> and then, <laughs> he can up his he can up his cost on producers because <laughs> oh, I got this ring money I could just throw at you. Wait, what do you mean ring money? He's a he was an early investor in Ring. The alarm thing? Yeah. I did not know that. Yay! Look at me knowing so about hip hop. <laughs> Yay! Rap snacks. You know, you know about rap snacks. You we know about some fucking rap snacks. Yeah, oh, I know about some rap snacks. Rap snacks. I know he did a uh, Bevel, right? He was like an early investor in Bevel. What is that? It's uh is it's that a, a watch? It's a shaving, it's shaving stuff for 
uh, people of with melanin. Mm. Oh, like products? Yeah. Okay, and like okay, razors, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they're saying like regular razors will give you like razor bumps. But these... Skin sensitivity? Skin yeah. sensitivity. Hey, man. I'm that's, a... A really good, that's a really good name for a song. Hey, skin sensitivity. Oh, th- that's a really good name of like uh, like a condom. Like if you if you were to have like your own condom line, that'd be like the thin one. It'd be like skin sensitivity. But then you have to like throw Z's, and then the the sensitivity would be like T E E E E E. That's like that. When you started doing that, is like you're, you're trying to make a screen name. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're trying to make a screen. And then the letters X, are like lower skin, ca- X, lowercase, uppercase. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh man. Yeah, man. New music's cool sometimes. I'm 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 an old head. Like my Spotify is like golden age of hip hop, <laughs> like, or East Coast classics. <laughs> exactly. My shit is very I, I'm very vanilla. When it comes, I I like certain shit, but I I don't explore much for music because I've I, I didn't like the I didn't like the the trajectory. How do you say the traje- trajectory? Yeah, I didn't yeah. like where it, it was at about six years ago. I. I, I hear you, and I hear, like, a lot of people who, like, say that and stuff, but I think there are some young people who still speak out to it, you know what I mean? With, with a daughter graduating uh, high school with three choices, holler. Yeah. Has she introduced you to music uh, of or, or of artists that you didn't know about? Uh, she has. Some of them I'm like, eh, this is going to whack, but then some of them I'm like, oh, this is cool, and I'll, like, add it to my playlist. I can't think of it right now, though. Really? Yeah. Is it like really like really local? Like is a local rapper? No, not even local. I don't know how she finds it. You know what else she finds? She finds like songs on Spotify uh, by like major artists, but they're unreleased and they're put under a different name. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, how did you do that? Do you have a Reddit account? Do you have a Reddit Bro, account? Bro, I fucking love Reddit. Do you have Mono? Do you have a Reddit I've account? I've never gone on the Reddit website. I never gone. On, I I, ha- I have the app. I don't explore in it, so I don't know how it's it. It's like, okay, if I can imagine Craigslist, Twitter, and Instagram all together. It's like a, it's just like a huge fucking message board, right? And all of the sub subreddits are anything that anyone loves. So if I'm like, oh, I love cheese. I'm like, I love cheese. Have you checked out the subreddit for cheese? And then it's like, no. And then you see all of this crazy stuff about cheese. And it's, it's like following hashtags and shit like that? Yeah. And then you can like post stuff. I remember... <laughs> There's this, this one is, this is like uh, was that blog spot when everyone was doing <laughs> yeah, blog exactly. spot. <laughs> there's a <laughs> fuck out of here. There's this one subreddit where it's like make fun of me, right? And basically people post pictures and they're like, do your best. And then everyone underneath is just like clowning on them. Damn. Like hard. Dude. People will die from that shit though. Yeah, and I'm like, but it's kind of funny. And then there's like, <laughs> <laughs> But because they're asking for yeah, it. Yeah, they're asking but for see, it. But see, what if that's not actually that person? Then that's fucked. <laughs> that's fucked. And up, the internet dude. has struck again. The internet is always the internet's undefeated, guys. I saw this other subreddit where what was it? I think it's a... Uh... Subreddit. A subreddit oh. is a subject in Reddit? Yeah, it's a subject in Reddit. <laughs> Look me, at you. Mono, me and Mono are trying to break this shit guys. down like, subreddit? What's a subreddit? <laughs> this reminds me of like when people used to take like uh, classes like at the library. Like how to, how to browse the internet. <laughs> <laughs> how, to, how to open up your yeah. first email account. <laughs> <laughs> I think I used to see the last class I saw was like maybe on the back of a penny saver. like... How to work your iPhone. Fuck you and your penny saver. What do you know about a penny saver? I used to get them all the time when Walgreens was where uh, Pacific Supers at. Right have now. any of you guys ever, speaking of like penny saver and attending class, have any of you guys en- uh, went to Apple to take any of their free classes of how to do shit on your laptop? Or? Hell no. That's what they got YouTube, bro. <laughs> no, now. YouTube now, yes. Yeah. Oh, before? Yeah. Like rocking an Apple 3 or something? You, you know you, you know how they have like, uh, sometimes they have classes, like the one downtown. Yeah. The, the one on, uh, uh, I want to say the old Levi's. Even whatever. at Stone Sound, yeah. I've seen some old women like pushing carts and attending classes. And no, stuff. there's like a whole area where they, they'll, they'll, they'll hold like a whole area, like just like how to edit music videos. I feel I feel like you're heavily defending this, so I'm assuming you, which classes you take. <laughs> I know. I want to I wanna <laughs> know which ones to take. <laughs> Uh, how how to edit a photo? How to edit a photo? Yeah. How to start a podcast? Yeah, right. <laughs> how to use your phone? Fo- Honestly, I just I just realized that I could take a picture and it's it creates a fax or it scans documents. Oh yeah. Do you okay? Let's do this right that now. That's sick. Let's let's see. What is the one feature on your iPhone that you think nobody else knows? Um. Let's start with mono. 
My yeah, it's a good. Dis- yeah, he he uses his phone a lot here, Gil. Uh, when, you, when you take a picture, you could you could fill, like say you take a picture of a uh, hell of words and shit. Okay. You, there's an option where you could type and scan it to make it typeable, like PDF it. What? What? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like like, like if I were to take a picture of of an application or a letter, uh-huh. right? And be like, oh yeah, I need to fill this out or copy it later. There's a there's an option where you could hit it'll PDF all the words in that picture. Mm, did you know that? Nope. I did not know that. No, that's a good one. All right, here's the one. That's good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let me open that other one for you <laughs> so I can pull you up. Thank you. Pull up. Big zaddy. So here's one. Did you know that in the calculator application, if you mess up with numbers, you can just swipe it backwards and it'll get rid of the number? Swipe what? Here, I'll show, I'll show <laughs> oh, everyone here. <laughs> what are you talking about? So here's here's the calculator, right? Here's a calculator. He has hella red light right? alerts as far so as numbers. So let's say, like, I didn't mean to do that, right? You yeah. can do this. Oh, tight. Oh, just <laughs> the last one or any of the last one? Just the oh, last okay. digit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, tight. Mm. You're, so he was swiping the actual numbers on the calculator. Yeah. To er- erase, anyone, erase the, last, yeah. the last the last number digit. Anyone yeah. who's listening. Oh, yeah. he, didn't, he didn't show his calculator to the goddamn camera. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm new to this. I'm the new guy. I, uh... This is probably not anything to anyone, but to me, it's it, uh, my wife just see me do it and it blew her mind. How how you could use your if you hold down the thing, you could use it as a cursor. You guys know that, right? In what part? What? what part? Like if I'm texting someone. Oh yeah 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 and yeah. You, yeah that's that's. Oh, you need to like go back. You go like that. And no, you go back. I, uh, you could just. Oh, you were talking about typing. You no, like if you type something out and yeah. then if you hold down the keyboard, doesn't matter. Which it becomes part a of the cursor keyboard. and oh, you, and you, go, and you sh- could sh- yeah. yeah you can move it around. That's no, that's nothing fancy, but you know, my wife was like, "What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you on your phone too much? <laughs> Why do you have to ed- edit paragraphs?" <laughs> iPhones, man. Yeah, like, could you see yourself going outside of an iPhone now? I had an Android before. Droid? Oh, you're a green bubble boy. Before, green <laughs> and then <laughs> someone's like, "You ruined the text." And I was yeah, like, I'll right, get an iPhone. Shout out to Marv. Could you tell? Could you share with Mono what Marv said? Because uh, his homeboy, shout out to Marv, man. He uh, he called as, as we were par- uh, pulling up to the house, and then I got to meet him via yeah via your car speaker. <laughs> so shout out to Marv. Bro. Shout out to Apple Play. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was like, uh, he's like, oh man, hey, uh, I was just. He's like, what are you guys gonna do? I was like, well, we're gonna record the podcast, and he's like, hey man, I'm thirty episodes deep. Thirty deep. Thirty deep. And you know what I said to Ramel? I was like, I bet you you're not thirty episodes deep. And he was wow. like, "Wow." He was like, "Yeah." Yeah, I did say that. I was like, <laughs> I was like yeah. "All right, they got me." Shout out to your boy, then. Fuck you. <laughs> after you got out of, after you got out of the car, right? Yes. I was like, "What's up, Marv? What'd you call?" He's like, "Oh, just seeing if you're gonna record the podcast." <laughs> <laughs> so he looks for it. He looks for it. Yes. I've, I've had people, and I'm not trying to toot uh, Gus's horn because his horn has been tooted. I'll toot, I'll toot Mono's though. Yeah, yeah. We'll do <laughs> hey, let's just uh, let's just have a circle toot. Yeah, oh, circle toot. <laughs> toot and boot it. <laughs> yeah, I've had a couple people ask and. Uh, you know, they're like, oh, did you record today? And I'm like, no, I, you know, yeah, I did. Or no, I didn't. And they're just like, oh, where's it at? Where's it at? And I'm like, bro, chill out. It's coming. It's coming. Hey, yeah. it's like Jordan's on Saturday. You got to wait in line, bro. Yeah, exactly. Wait for the link, dog. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. Appreciate but, your homies. Hey. So Thank you, dude. Thank hey. you. Hey, you guys are doing something thank, right. Hey, yeah, yeah. Thanks for adding me. You're That's welcome. All. You're yeah. welcome, yeah, motherfucker. Exactly. <laughs> thanks, for be- <laughs> thanks for now being a part of everyone in my life's life. I appreciate that. Appreciate the love on it. It's a, uh, we're just having fun. So, me and Ramel, uh, we we text earlier and that uh, yesterday was it yesterday? We yeah. text yesterday. We did text yesterday. And I asked him, no, only because you text me first. Fuck no, I didn't. This is uh, this is the first time though. You text me at nine oh one. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I I said bring I said bring ten ten things, and uh, it'd be like getting to know you, and I have to guess if it's true or false. Yep. You got yours? I, 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 I'm I going to do it off the top. Oh, I'm gonna do, I, got, I can't. I, I, I'm going to do it off the top. So do you, do you want to go first? Yeah. Okay. So pretty much he's going to give me a statement, and I have to guess if it's true or false. Both you and Mono have yes. to guess if it's true or false, Yes, right? yes, yes. All right. Statement number one. Uh. I broke my arm when I was eight years old rollerblading in church. Rollerblading in church? Can, it, can, can I ask? Uh, I want to say that's true. Mono? False. 
It's true. Oh, <laughs> the god got you, dog. He sniped yeah, you. Yeah, he was like, not in my house. Yeah. <laughs> Holy water. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was rollerblading at the courtyard of uh, St. Augustine, and I fell back. And then my bone popped out of my arm. Whoa. Yeah, bro. I thought you, I thought you meant in church. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, like, that's different. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. No one rollerblades in church. All right. Yeah. That's all right. I worded that weird. All right, but that's, a, that's a good fun fact. All right. Yeah. That's a, that, just to, so you know where I'm going with Lord. these. Okay. Um, when I was. False. <laughs> when I was uh, the seventh grade summer going into eighth grade, I spent a month in. Uh, I spent a month in Montreal, and I was trying to gay mad girls out there. <laughs> True or false? I'm going to say false because it's Montreal. Ma- Mon- it's like Munster? You say false? False. Yeah, I spent a month out there. You did? Yeah. And then the the, the predominant language there is French. We. Oui. Yeah. And then that's when I fell in love with It's called poutine. I was going to say. Ooh, it's called poutine. Poutine is uh french fries yes and then it's cheese curds yeah and then it's gravy yes and they serve it to you in a cup good the right places will give it to you in a cup you'll get a little boat like 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 chili cheese fries but i like my shit in a cup and it was with a fork and you could get that shit at mcdonald's Ooh, montreal for a month uh I, I, my dad's Mon- uh older montreal. yeah my dad's oldest older sister was uh lives out there so we're not there for a month um, I met my cousins. Uh, <laughs> I met my cousins like classmates, and there were some white girls and wow, some, wow. Indian, some Indian girls, some Filipino girls, and Chinese girls. I was trying to be like, hey, I'm an American dude from California. <laughs> being American is one thing, but being from California is a whole other thing. Is that only in Canada or anywhere else? We can explore that in the next question. Ooh. Ooh. Next question, Ramel. True or false? All right, true or false? I was almost mugged in the Mission District. But saved by one of those guys who spins the signs at the corner of the street. I want to say that's true. I want to say that's true. A, a, a sign spinner? Yeah. Yep. Oh, it was true? No, wait, you say false. 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 It's false, bro. Uh, yeah. I've, never, I've never seen a sign spinner. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> man knows his... <laughs> never. You got to trust his routes, bro. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's a blow-up guy. That yeah. <laughs> the blow up one of those guys guy. is like... <laughs> Get away from him! Yeah, blow up so fun guy. Like, <laughs> it's just yeah. like it was, no, no. He's knocking the knife out of it his was, hand and stuff. It was tax season, and it was <laughs> some, some lady dressed up as a Statue of Liberty. And she's just like, <laughs> I order you. <laughs> fucking yo, Uncle Sam. That's, that's a good one, right? That's a that, fucking good one. Okay, I see you. I see you. Um, when I just got my license, my pair. Uh, I was like, uh, I was still in. Uh, I was at I was still at Reardon. I was at a private school. Um, my parents left me for like two weeks to go to uh, to go to uh, Europe. I think I think it was Italy, and then uh, I just got my license and I got my uh, I got in a car accident and my, uh, a couple months later my license got taken away at sixteen. That sounds so true. It does sound <laughs> true and it sounds very gussy, <laughs> but I'm gonna say false. Mono true. Very true. Wow. <laughs> Very true. You know what? You're a well-traveled man, and you're also a rebel. Oh, it was a Volvo, so, you know, let's, <laughs> let's, let's relax. <laughs> I got in a, uh, I picked up my homeboy. It was Friday night. I had my cousin's boyfriend, uh, ex-boyfriend's leather hoodie, so I thought I was the man. We went to, we went to Coma Roundtable, because my cousin worked there. I was trying to get free pizza, and then leaving... Um, I, I ran over one of the islands and I and I and I broke a tree. And then when I backed up, I backed up into the the sidewalk that almost got to almost got to uh, almost hit the glass for uh, for um, uh, round table. And then there was a cops all the way down. And if you remember, that was like a long drugs yeah. or drug barn. It was drug barn. Drug barn. That's where that uh, Michaels is. At. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was drug barn back in the day. Cops were just chilling over there, like looking at like the lane and pulled up. My cousin knew them. They were gonna give me a pass, but the um, because it's coma and nothing happens. Yeah, they gotta do something. I got a I, I got a ticket I had to pay, and I got my license taken away. They're probably excited to fill out that paperwork. And then when I was eighteen, I paid for my own license because I had to get a special like I got, my shit got taken away till I was eighteen. So I had to Damn. front I had to front to my parents like I had it the whole time. But like no, I don't want to drive. <laughs> I was like, nah, I'll let y'all do it. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. want to drive. But then I I, uh, I had to take these uh, this this test. There's a special. There's only certain 
driving instructors could give you this uh, special training and a special test, and I and I passed eventually at eighteen. <laughs> They're like, try not to drive over this island. Dude, this is tree. It was bad. Like I had to go to a meeting to to the thing is I was a minor. I had to go to a meeting to uh to the down the what's the one in Fillmore the DMV. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had to, I had to go DMV. to a meeting there to the to the. To the late, it was only why that, why it was that, that lady. No, it was that lady I had to talk to. So I had to go all the way there, and then I, I had to go to court. I was all this, all this stuff. I was like sixteen, but whatever, Damn, bro. Yeah. So yeah, true, very true. The asshole chronicles of Gus. Uh, peel back this onion. <laughs> peel it back. This might, part, this parfait got layers. Am I make you cry, boy? <laughs> go ahead. What you got? All right. Along with rapping. Oh shit! I've also had poetry published in a book. Um, I want to say you were in a ruckus magazine, probably the the pocket. You, you know what I'm talking about those ruckus that's magazines. Not, that's not a book, bro. The, the magazine, the ruckus yeah, magazine. Yeah. Oh, the small. Yeah, yeah. I want to say true, Mono. But publishing a book that I could go buy, like at Barnes and Noble, uh, on oh, Amazon. Oh, I know. Uh, oh, that's true. Well, then. true because he just. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, fine, fine. you got me. All right, you got me. Yourself, yeah. yeah, I was a. Uh, I was publishing a book senior year. Of- <laughs> I don't know how to play this game. I was, a, I was, I was published. Hey, yearbooks don't count. If I can yeah. buy your yearbook yeah. online. I just rhyme summer with it'll be a bummer. See you next summer. Um, uh, no, I, boner with loner. If you're ever a loner, call my boner. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was uh, called Eloquent Graffiti. Um, it was like back in high school, maybe like senior year or something like that. What was the, the main rapper you were listening to when you wrote this shit? Uh... Most dead. common, most oh yeah, most com- common, yeah, common, common sense death. or common, common, yeah. <laughs> the light, <laughs> <laughs> no, not even. It was like a, was it the light? No, I think it was like a retrospective life. So See, that's before I knew about common. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't. So you didn't. You still uh, smell nug chocolate. Yeah, I didn't fuck with shy like like that. I didn't fuck with that part of shy. Yeah, just the, fuck other, with, the other part. Yeah, shy town. Oh. All right. Um... Uh, let's see here. I took a bath in a Korean airport. Oh, no, not a bath. I took a shower. Let's say a shower. I took a shower in a Korean airport. North or south? Oh, uh, <laughs> it's very south. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have a follow-up question. Uh, which way did the water swirl? Uh, I was too busy sitting because I'm a gentleman. When I dump, I uh, I pop and dump because I don't want to be this stall, the stinky stall. I know my public bathroom etiquette. Wait, how did you shower sitting? No, I, I took a shower at a Korean in a Korean airport. No, they have showers. There. I'm gonna say false, bro. False, yeah, mono. False. Uh, very true. On the way to the Philippines, that was a it was a it was a pit stop. Oh uh, uh, yes, that was me again as well. <laughs> Here I am, guys. I'm just spinning yeah, real yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, this is just Gus like admitting all of his wrongs. Yeah, I was. I think I was like 18, Ooh. and then we, we were going to the Philippines, and that was our pit stop. It was our it was our changeover, and then this Korean airport was like the fancier one, and then the the tickets we had. A lot of the certain areas where we could take a bath, and there's other there's other areas where you could just take a bath. Oh, like a VIP, like, area. like a shower. Yeah, yeah. VIG, rolling up <laughs> the VIG. You're like, you have to have bottle service at this airport if you want to take a shower. Exactly, bro. Exactly. I love short ribs, guys. I, I love it. Shit. I love it. But yeah, are you ready? Very true. Go ahead. Go All right. ahead. I danced with Paula Abdul at a club in San Francisco. Not like the lookalike. Okay, were you MC Scat Cat? <laughs> do you know who that is? I I do. I was gonna make a, an old joke, but I do know who that is. Mono, do you know who MC Scat Cat is? That's the guy in Opposites of Track, the cartoon that <laughs> oh. she's rapping. <laughs> I knew the exact song. You're having too much fun with that Opposites. fucking reference, dog. <laughs> I love I love Paul Abdul. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say false. I'm gonna say false. False. It's true. What? With her is not like you can't. You can't be like a cha-cha slide, or you can't be like a line dance or a dance circle with all the girls. Yeah. In, in oh, it was me and her. Oh, what? yeah. And I got pictures of it on my Facebook. Damn. With Paula Abdul. Yeah, but it was like after she got kicked off of American Idol. You know. What club? What, what club was this? Fuck, I forgot the name. It was like 
near the wharf. 550 Barneville. No, no it's... Butterfly? No, I don't know if it's Butterfly. Shout out to your support. I know. I, I'm going to blow my nose. Shout, guys... out, shout out to uh, Ramel support that made a guest appearance on God 133 damn. throughout on, the whole right thing. Back. Yeah, he's going to blow it out. So he he said he had he danced with Paula Abdul. I want to... I, I don't know. Paula Abdul was my biggest crush when I was like in fourth grade. She still looks good. She still looks good. She still looks the same. She still looks good. For what? I would say she's 50 or 60. She was a Laker girl. She still looks she, good. She still looks. She was a Laker yeah. girl. That's that. Paula's different. That's Patina, right? That's Patina on Paula. Like she, she's still hot, right? Like J Lo, like, still hot. No, but J Lo, J Lo, J Lo's a different bar of hot. She, no, though. she's like a fucking super. Na- she's crazy. Yeah, there's not a lot of fifty year olds that still, if not better. Halle yeah. Berry still looks good. She looks better than most girls in their thirties. Yeah. Yeah. Dog. You, I heard she has this, this uh, lotion that's full with foreskin, and then <laughs> yeah, I, I donated to that one. <laughs> I had so much to give. <laughs> I'm all skin down there. Hey, skin sensations coming. Sensitivity. Sens- skin, skin sensitivity. sensitivity. So that's that's a true. That is a true. How how this happened? Uh, I was drunk. I was with my ex. I was with Marv. Oh, shout out to Marv. And they're like, that's Paul Abdul. How come you didn't assist? Me? Uh, Marv with the Paul Abdul. Uh, Marv has a picture with her too. Okay, but you know your boy got the moves though. Would you eat that after that after after that night, like straight afterwards, like hot sweaty club? Would you Paul I'm, Abdul? I've co- eaten worse, <laughs> <laughs> but you have not eaten better. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what he does. I'm just talking shit. Sorry to anyone who listens. That yeah, what's the time on this? I want to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> time stamp. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're good. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Your turn. Um, hmm. I, uh, I once, I once took a road trip that took two days to get to our destination. That's. Sounds pretty true. It sounds pretty Filipino of us and not wanting to pay for the airfare. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you didn't stay. Where, where'd you drive to? Fucking like. Uh, I'm, north. I'm assuming Montreal. Uh, no, no. Oh, I'm so good. Uh, Calgary. <laughs> <laughs> Calgary. You mean the one right next to Montreal? <laughs> <laughs> They're not. They're not. They don't speak French in, in Calgary. And they look down on people in Montreal. That's kind of <laughs> that's kind of like their. Calgary is kind of like their Texas in like where they don't speak French. Ah. They got like a stampede. There's like a there's a cowboy culture. Oh, it's Calgary. really like Texas in Calgary. There's a cowboy culture. Also, Bret Hart. True or false? I drove to Canada. From That's where? Far. From where? From the Bay Area. That's pretty far. Daily City, California. Two days. Two days. I'm gonna say false because it took us 18 hours to drive to Vancouver one time. Mm. Mono false. True. See, the way to stop telling yeah. prices. <laughs> we, well, and there was uh, we did a trip. Tro- we did a trip twice. We did it with just one car. Or we, did, we did it with two cars. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Round trip. Round trip. Oh, I thought yes, you like you drove one car, flew back, and then drove the other car. No, yeah, we uh, we, we did the trip twice. Once with just me, me and my parents, and then once with like in a van, and it was me, all my cousins, uh, and my my grandparents, and like. I was like, what? I was like 10 or 12. My cousin was like 14. And then we would be, because, you know, when you in a road trip and you start to hit elevation, yeah, everyone starts getting gassy. And now we were in like a 12 passenger van and we were ripped. Me and my cousin were ripping them (laughs) because you're eating nothing but gas station food. Yeah. I love gas station food, though. I do. I used to. I used to crave A M P M food. Like, ooh, there's an A M P M here. Let's go stop by and Let's get, get a, some cheese curds. <laughs> yeah, two two cheeseburgers for a dollar. I think that's <laughs> that's an awesome deal. <laughs> yeah. So that very true. And my uncle uh, R I P. You know, Rennie. He was an electrician for um for the the city of Calgary, and he he was he was good friends with uh with Bret Hart's father because they're about the same age, and he uh uh. He was an electrician, so he would hook him up with like, "Hey, could you help me build out this dungeon in the back?" False. <laughs> no, my oh, uncle. No, I was playing. Very <laughs> true. That's my uncle's dude. That's tight, dude. Yeah. I fucks with Bret Hart. I get. Yeah. I gave my uncle a card. I gave him a card because uh, wrestling had the wrestling classic cards. Yeah, remember those? I remember those? Hell yeah. Not the ones that came off of the the ice creams. I love Not that ice cream. I love those God. too. But it was an actual like pack of cards. Like you pay like a dollar for them. 
and I had this I had this pristine Bret Hart one, uh, and I gave it to my uncle. I was like, "Hey, can you can you get this sign from Bret Hart?" He's like, "Sure," and it was a pristine card, right? I didn't give it anything to protect it, and he just threw it in his like fanny pack. <laughs> like he like this is when fanny packs were like a thing, but he wore it as an actual fanny pack. Yeah, no, yeah. It, at the hip, and I was like, "Damn, it's bent and warm." <laughs> <laughs> Like, what part of his tuck? Oh, <laughs> it's all like Nino. smudged off. I was like, oh, he's bent on my corners, dog. Oh, you know how many packs out to buy to find this one? But yeah, that's funny. Go ahead, Nick. I have the same birthday as Manny Pacquiao. Uh, I would say that's something. I would say true. False. I would say true. It's true. Ooh. But do you own a pair of Manny Pacquiao's? No, I got Yeezys instead. Yeah. <laughs> I hit him walking up with Yeezys. We spoke about this, dog. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Did you have that Manny haircut? Uh, no, I never could do the rice bowl. I have like two swirls, mm. and my dad says it's because I was I'm mischievous. Because your horns are, are yet to grow in. Hey, Ooh. shout out to this guy over here. I hate, I hate that. I'm just happy I'm not looking at it anymore. Is that why you chose to sit over there? Yes, and now and this is my good ear. So is that really why? Yeah. That too, so I can I can look at both of y'all. I don't have to I don't have to like bob and weave. And then here I am. Like, yeah, <laughs> welcome new guy. <laughs> and not, no one can fit over here yet. <laughs> yeah, we're accepting guests who can fit between yes. there. Yeah. You know what I mean? If y'all about yay, holler. But yeah, so Manny Pacquiao, huh? Yeah. Okay, I have one. Uh, I have the same birthday as Tiffany Amber Theason. True. Mono. False. True. See? This is what we're speaking all truth right now. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to lie, guys. <laughs> I don't know how to. <laughs> That's why I got busted for my license. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to lie. But yeah. Tiffany Amber Thiessen. One, two, three. Pretty good. Pretty good. One, two, three. Pretty good. Pretty good. You ready? I don't know how many how many was that so far. Fuck, I don't know. Okay, go ahead. Last one? This is, oh, yeah. L- Let's grand, do last one. Grand finale. Grand finale. Grand finale. I have a blue belt in jujitsu. Mm-hmm. I want to say yes. Hmm. Blue belt in jujitsu, Wano. Uh, what does it take to get a rainbow belt? There's no rainbow belt. Oh, you're false then. Oh. Wait, what? No, I do have a blue belt in jujitsu. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a rainbow, a rainbow belt. What the fuck's a rainbow belt? Oh, yeah. I thought you would know. There's, there is a rainbow belt. There's a rainbow belt like when you when you like <laughs> like you, like you have to be a black belt active for like 20, 30 years. And, and then you and you just get like different like and, lines yeah, for that. It's like the colonel. You've been a colonel sergeant for like oh, ten. Oh, it's called like a rainbow belt. Thirty-one flavors. I thought that's a, I thought that's a red stripe. I think you just Rain- keep going after Rainbow's that, right? It's supposed to be like the highest. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. No, I just, <laughs> maybe I just made it there. And then Mono subscribes to Black Belt yeah. Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the bathroom. Yeah. I knew he would know. <laughs> so is it true or false? Uh, it's true. Oh, it's true. Okay. I do have my blue belts. I got it back in like 2014. 2000 and is, late. Is the order still, is the order the same of the belts like in like every other martial art? No, it's like, because I think. Karate has like a yellow belt or something, right? Mm. They have yeah, yellow that's belt. after white, right? Yeah, so it's yellow. It's, it's a white, blue, purple, brown, and then black. Right. Mm. Yeah. But black is always gonna be like the piece de resistance. Unless you got a rainbow one. <laughs> uh, yeah, apparently, shit. <laughs> shit. Shit. Thirty-one flavors. Thirty-one flavors. Get all of them. Um, I once went to a. Uh, I've went to a. Um, what is it? A whorehouse this in is Spain. Fucking false as shit. <laughs> I, w- I went to you a whore. Fall, ho- you oh. false as fuck. Get that <laughs> shit out of here. I went to a whorehouse uh, in Spain. Everyone else is like, yeah. I once took a two day trip. <laughs> <laughs> this, was, this was like, uh, I, uh, uh whorehouse. Uh. <laughs> That's the worst shit you could think of. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whore. Two. Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, I the went mic to- says you're false. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You probably went to a horchata <laughs> house. Fall. <laughs> oh, false, false. Yeah, false. Yeah. It's false. Unless you accidentally went there. Yes, I went to a whorehouse in Spain. Me and my cousin Phil, uh, we went to Spain with uh, with my uh, my cooler uncle that uh, that, that you smoke trizzles with. You know, one of those uncles. That, yeah, cool uncle. Yeah, yeah. He he had a condo in Spain. Like he went out there. He had a condo, and then and then he said, "Hey, we have an extra room if you want to come. You just gotta pay for your ticket. We got the car." And we'll, we'll pay for the food. So me and my cousin Phil went out there. Um, we went to the club, and then we was hyped after the club, and we 
jumped in a jumped in a cab and asked it for a dude for the strip club. He was like, strip club? And he was like, strip club. He goes, and then this is like, they drink, they start drinking at 2 a.m. So this is like 4 or 5 a.m. Yeah. And then the club's still popping and we we left. And we're like, strip club. And he goes, and my cousin goes, girls. He goes, girls? He's like, girls. So we, I know just the place. He, he pulled, he, and it was like, you know, it's like different Spanish. It's not like, it's not like Cali Spanish. It's like real Spanish, like with like a lisp. You know what I mean? <laughs> So he pulled oh. us up to the spot, and then the first thing we noticed when we got out the car, there was a big ass like concrete rooster, or I thought it was the chicken, but it was a rooster, a, con- a statue, a statue, okay. con- yeah, thank you, sorry, concrete, <laughs> concrete, <laughs> oh, it's like, a, like a monster, like you have to beat this boss if you want that pussy, yeah. like <laughs> the, the, the one from Family like, Guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little lick the mic, bro. <laughs> you know, and the first thing you said was like, "Oh, don't sniff the mic," and you're yeah. over here licking it. Yeah, and then we went inside, and then uh, dude said it was twenty bucks to get in, so it was twenty bucks, and then uh, right when we got in, but was uh, it twenty bucks to get in? So let's all let's trip off this, and I asked for the bathroom, and he pointed to an area, and I went down this hallway, and I was about to enter a room. And it was a bedroom. Like, it was just a bed. And I was like, holy <laughs> shit. I was like, oh. And then, like, the bed sheet was messed up. And I was like, oh. Then I found the bathroom. Then I found my cousin. I was like, hey, hey, we're in a we're in a whorehouse. He goes, you think so? And then we look at the Sweet. bar. And- <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Is they're there an ATM? <laughs> they're, playing, they're playing, like, a porno on, like, three different pornos on, like, three, like, big, like, it was projectors. This is before, like, LCD <laughs> screens where you have to, like, have a projector connected to a DVD. That's hilarious. Yeah, true as fuck. We didn't do anything because we didn't want to spend the money because we were we were broke as fuck going to Spain. But yeah, whorehouse in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like some uh, dust till dawn, but with a rooster. With a rooster instead of Concrete. instead of the Concrete girl turning rooster. into a uh, <laughs> turning into a, what's it called? Instead of a girl turning exactly. into a snake. <laughs> <laughs> what was her name? Uh, Selma Hayek turns I, into a concrete rooster. That's another one. Oh yeah, yeah. She was bad in Grown Ups. That that's one of my favorites. Just a just a watcher. Yeah. Grown Ups. Super bad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let, let, let's talk about Patina. Who's who's our favorite older older women of the <laughs> older women that we appreciate? Betty White. R.I.P. R.I.P. <laughs> you sexy bastard. Uh. What's her name? Marissa Tomei. Oh yeah, yeah. After 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 the Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. It, it was a re intro to her, but I've been yeah. a fan since Cousin Vinny. Oh yeah. Oh, for show. Sure. Oh, uh, uh, I've been a fan since Different Str- uh Different World. She was one of the original cast members on a uh, Different World. I did not know that. I oh, yeah. Google that. No, I trust Double you. check. Sorry, I'm check. ordering a pizza right now. Yeah, no, you're Ooh. good. <laughs> not like you, Google, but <laughs> yo, fact check me. Fact check me. It better be from Little Joe's, I'm yeah. telling you. It's from Domino's. Domino's, because he's ordering it. What, okay, let me guess. Mono's doing uh, a pineapple and anchovy pizza? <laughs> no. I they, they, don't anchovies, have, they, don't, they don't have that at Domino's. They don't, they don't have no, no anchovies. They don't have anchovies at Domino's. You, you fuck with anchovies on your pizza? Heavy. Mono once made me get him a pineapple and a uh, anchovy pizza from uh, Bravos. <laughs> he had a small one to the neck, and I was like, uh. Ew, "Stinky fish." <laughs> you like the stink? Stinky fish. I myself. So, just speaking of pizza, uh, I have this thing called a uh, a new wave oven, which is it's kind of like is not an air fryer. It's not. It's not. It's like the. It's like the N sixty. It's like the. Nintendo before the N sixty four. Oh, it's a laser disc. <laughs> yeah, it's very laser disc. It's it's very, and you have to flip it when it's like halfway through the movie, so you can watch the other half of the movie. Um, and I made a, uh, I have the Pillsbury crust that you make your own pizza. I threw that shit in the pan, uh, white sauce and and a Monterey Jack cheese, and I just buttered the the crust, and I made myself a little. Deji Alfredo pizza. I don't talk about white sauce all day. White sauce on the pizza is my shit. Dude, just, my that's sh- what I just ordered. White sauce. Garlic Parmesan. Yeet. <laughs> Not just twist. <laughs> yeah, we should stay for the pizza, though. I, so. I think we better order our own because he's <laughs> yeah. doing a two for five right now. <laughs> he's doing for the combo deal yeah. right now. This is a uh, deal of 16 bucks for two medium pizzas. What is your go-to on, on, the, on the... I do one uh, hand... With the garlic parmesan, with pepperoni and sausage. Ham, 
No, no, no. Pan. Pan. Oh, pan. Pan. Yeah, pan. no. Pan, pan is the one, pan. dude. Yeah, pan with pepperoni sausage with the white sauce. And the other one will be a barbecue sauce with a pineapple and a ham. That's really sweet, sweet, and salty, huh? That's very umami. Mm. Barbecue very. sauce? Barbecue it is, sauce? The, yeah, their barbecue sauce is Sorry, pretty my, sweet, too. Yeah. My shit is fucked right now. Yeah, yeah, this dude, he's running right now. Right. He's running. So I think he, I know what it is, too. What? So my dog has diarrhea, right? So you... And I be, and he like eating rice with your hands. <laughs> no, so he, he so he goes like on the grass, but I have to like water it off because I can't we can't pick it up, and it just like gets all on me. Or, I don't know. That sucks. So yeah. So do you, do you get allergies? I do. I do get allergies. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. Maybe, what if you're allergic to your dog? Oh. I thought I gotta move out because Ther- <laughs> Therese said having that shit for sure. You, what if you're allergic to dog? You have a, what do you, you have one of them hybrids dog though, right? Yeah, it's like a. You have an off white dog. Yeah. A- <laughs> <laughs> your dog, your dog is like an off white, right? Yeah, I have a Virgil Blow. Yeah. One of one. <laughs> one of one, right? <laughs> no, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, no, he's like hypoallergenic. But not for you. Fuck, apparently not. I'm sorry, I gotta blow my nose. Yeah, you, go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, man. I I, I want to get another dog, especially especially when when the the move is complete. I, I you definitely need one. I definitely need one. Would you get another rot? Yeah, it it, it it'd be a big dog. You ha- it's something it, that could defend, right? It protect. The same shit. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. You know, it's but also when there's a dog in the house, it already warns people like, nah, I'm not going in that house yeah. with the dog. Well, when you knock at a house and you hear a bark, you think twice. Yeah. This. Which is good. Yeah. You need, you, you kind of, and that's like, a, like you said, that's protection. So right? do you want to adopt an adult or get a puppy and raise it? Uh, I want to do what Monon wants to do and get something that's like maybe like two or three years old that's already potty trained. Broken in. Yeah. You don't have to fucking worry about it pissing in the house. Don't, and those Bruh. dogs don't get the love. Like, cause th- those are, those are like, you know. You're talking about the breed, rot? No, uh, d- older dogs. Oh, older, okay. older dogs don't get the love at like the S because the last two rots I got have, have been from the SPCA. I would love to you've get had, one. You've had rots. Before. Yeah, yeah I, have two, I, I had two in my past. R.I.P. Uh, Roxy, R.I.P. Maddie. Roxy and Madison. Damn. Yeah. And I had them trained to where I would open the garage and they would just, like if I said, sit. They would sit there. I remember one time a cop... <laughs> Was a cop was passing by my house and I was moving my car and street cleaning, and this is fresh off of that lady being mauled by the pit bull. You all remember that? Like it was like the two thousands when that lady up in like Diamond Heights got mauled by a pit bull. Uh, it sounds familiar, yeah. So there, yeah, <coughs> it sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I'm so oh man, my voice is all fucked. If we were the Seven Doors, <laughs> you'd be sneezy. <laughs> it sounds familiar. Yeah, so um, it was fresh off that. The cop stopped me and was like, hey, your dog has to go in the house. And my dog, like, uh, Roxy was just standing there. And I yelled from across the street. I was like, sit. And she sat down. And the dog, the, the cop looked at me and looked at looked at my dog. And there was two of them in the in the car. And they just took off. Wow. Yeah, because I, I had the car, I had the garage open. I was barefoot, moving my car. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> moving oh, like I like, move. That was before you got that pair of slippers. Huh? <laughs> yeah, before Crocs was a thing <laughs> to me. Yeah, and then they, like all my the last two dogs that I could walk off a leash. See, walking off a leash is like some next level shit. But your dog's a baby yeah, though. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard to like, cause the how old your dog? Six months. Three months. Yeah, dude. Long and he's way like, to go. and he's no. twenty five pounds, yeah, yeah. bro. And what is got, it, a labradoodle? A uh, golden doodle. He's a golden retriever and a poodle. What color is he? Bro, I just he just got his first haircut today. I want to show you, but <laughs> I'll show you off air because it's kind of like oh, look at my dog. Would you yeah. be an extra ass dude and get get like your dog's name shaved in on his on his butt? Would you do that? Would you bring him the bush? Did you talk to Therese? She'd tell you we shave her. No. <laughs> no, no, no. no I, Get a I, lightning I, bolt. <laughs> <laughs> I asked my barber, like, how much would you charge if, uh, to cut my dog's hair? Got the hair? Brian Bossworth yeah. on your dog. <laughs> my dog needs a bald fade. How much would you cost? <laughs> Need a, a bald fade? <laughs> a bald fade on You the... line him up real quick? <laughs> just around the snout? <laughs> That's why I like short hair dogs. Rots, you just comb them out. They're yeah. fine. Dude, no, his his hair grows crazy. And these dogs, the hair grows crazy. And this hypo I think you're allergic to your dog, dude. Ooh. I don't know, man. How long you been how long you been all stuffed up? For at least you know what? Don't do this right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't do this. For at least for three a, weeks. 
ever since he had diarrhea, man. Cause oh. the, yeah, because the last episode, it was, it was like this. The episode before that, it was cool. And then he's squirting well, all over the place. You change, you change the food. Yeah, we had to. I think he has some sort of like sensitivity to chicken. Oh, he has IB irritable bowel move, IBM irritable bowel yeah, movement. Dude, they're like talking about the dog like he's a human. He's like, I don't well, know. well, it's like maybe he doesn't, you know. And it's like, we we figured it out. Maybe it might be the snacks that we're giving him. Mm. So we started giving him his kibble as his chichicorn. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> boy yeah, bow one. He got into your boy bow one. I had a, I had a neighbor. <laughs> I was walking Benny and I had a neighbor uh, call me over and he's like, I just came from the Philippines. Like, here's this. Right. And I, I, I took it from him. I was like, what is this? He's like, it's boy Bawang. And I'm like, oh, you know, I can get this at the store. It's better there though. <laughs> is it? It's better there. Cause it, there's, it, it comes with uh, 11 herbs and spices. <laughs> yeah. The real boy Bawang is just like in the plastic and it's, it's rolled and it's stapled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the boy Bawang like, oh, I, brought you, I brought you soda and it's in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> I had to hold this for 18 hours. You got to enjoy it now. There was no turbulence. <laughs> I put a rubber band around the straw <laughs> so it wouldn't yeah. spill. Don't worry. I wrapped it with a mask. <laughs> It looks like you have a colostomy bag. <laughs> this is holding, cool. it, holding it right here. Speaking of which, this is this is uh, I'm not gonna say the rapper, but there was a CeeLo. This sounds, sounds like some CeeLo. There shit. There was a rapper that would would go uh, go through the airport and would would have uh, a bag of pills, and every time they got through by saying it was a colostomy bag, and one time they said I have to see it, and it was a pill uh, a bag full of Molly. Oh, at the time it was E. Uh, I'm not gonna say the rapper, guys. Rozel. Rozel. What? Rozel is that before, or after the roots? <laughs> He's like, <laughs> it's like, this is just a colossal bag. Actually, it was a Bay Area rapper. Ooh. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. Okay. Not if you really know, like, you really, you really gotta know, like, 2000 Bay Area rappers to be like, oh yeah, I know who this is. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Wow, that's a, look at you, full of just musical knowledge. Local, it's and, random and facts. Global. It's, it, it's random facts about musicians. I don't know shit about like their music. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I just know. You, <laughs> I can see you updating their Wikipedia. It's just like this dude got arrested for a colostomy bag. <laughs> it was full of e. <laughs> <laughs> it was full of ecstasy from Germany. Uh, where's the Where's the farthest you've traveled? And Philippines don't count. All right, or for, or uh, countries you you visited. Philippines don't count. And Canada don't count. All right. Well, and then, Mexico don't all right, count. Well, then I'm out of this conversation. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. I mean, like, uh, oh, yeah. You look like you travel. You look like you eat, like, brie cheese on a regular basis. That doesn't mean I travel. You mean, like, it just means I shop at Trader Joe's. You're like, wa guy. water. No, before it was cost It was cost plus, And then <laughs> cost plus is food version turned into what Trader Joe's is. <laughs> exactly. You're like, are y'all related? <laughs> I'm going to be at Toys R Us. I'm going to be in this cost plus for a while. <laughs> That's real cool yeah. effects. That's where they have all the good candy bars. R.I.P. Toys R Us. Yeah, R.I.P. Toys R Us, man. That was sad. I'm surprised Nick Cannon didn't save it. I think he tried to. I think he tried to. Yeah. I bought a bunch of Funko Pops that had the exclusive Toys R Us ones, hoping they would get me get me out of my mortgage debt. <laughs> I'm a buy. Honestly, I'm a true. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna purge as soon as as soon as I see everything. I'm gonna be like, I need someone to come here and just cash. Give me one. Give me one check. If I see one check, then it's fine. Like I don't want to sit here and. Yeah. And ship individual. I want. I put want the whole. Put the whole lot on mm -hmm. eBay yep. or yep. something like that, and see how much. There, there's dudes that do that. Yeah, yeah, buy in bulk. Yeah, just take a picture, put it on eBay, see what happens. Yeah, for sure. I I don't know. I don't know. No, he doesn't want to let it yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. I, I can't let it go. You know. You know what it is. I have to go through everything to see what I want to let go. I think I have this. Uh, there was times I was going to a lot of like comic conventions and yeah. like uh, art conventions. And there's that there's this uh there's this old white dude and he did all the cartoon Mandy for uh Playboy. Oh wow. You know Mandy's that white girl that with the big titties, you know what I mean? That was like a whole little strip on Playboy. And I, I think I, I bought a vinyl figure that was created off of like his drawing and I'm just trying to find it. Cause I I know he, I, if I have it he signed it. I remember being there and watching him sign it and, wa and me walking away. But I don't know if it was me or my brother in law. <laughs> Wait, you you don't know? <laughs> You don't know if it was you or your brother left yeah. there. Yeah, because it, it was a long conversation with this dude. Like he's the play, he's the he's the Playboy cartoon guy, and this is when 
like okay streetwear this is when like like i was like i was all in on f word you know what yeah. i mean Th this is this is when this is when uh my brother-in-law like designs wouldn't wouldn't miss and then he wouldn't miss and then and then when we collaborated it was it was a stronger hit but then you know when you when you start producing and sometimes the designs you come up come up with are not yeah they don't hit like the, the they don't hit like the the other shit yeah because you have to catch hype you have to catch hype or you have to you have to create that train too though like you know yeah. There was a time everyone was doing what what uh, shout out to Evan had to dap was doing where they would put a number or like inside the word like it was like Steph the the, right, the three right, and right. the D yeah. in Steph in in, in uh, they're just in following Stephen. the sports yeah and they, they would flip seasons. numbers flip numbers and shit right yeah. like on some real pager code but Evan did it first yeah but I mean like. Did you just yeah? <laughs> no, I mean it's it's just like sports. Like you can never miss with sports colors or anything like. You that. cannot. No, no. no. Sports is sports is 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 its own fandom. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that's when you kind of like reach outside the realm of like streetwear. What was what was your okay? And this is a uh, finally hip, right? Yeah, finally hip. What what was what, your top three signature pieces that you were really proud of? <clears throat> All right. Top three. I have one. <laughs> Top three. The one that I'm really proud of, because uh, PB was one who did a lot of the art, right? Uh huh. I, I I like gave him a lot a lot of ideas, and then we kind of like put it into work, put it into like, yeah, uh, yeah. Like, what was your What was your top three designs? First one was a uh, basketball jersey that was Hawaiian print. Oh, yeah. So the, the the holes in it was was like Aloha print, like the whole the whole the whole uh, jersey was Hawaiian print. Was it stitched too? Was it, was there a number like? Yeah, so there was a number in the back. I forgot what it was, but then in the back it said uh, like "fuck off" or something like that. And it was stitched in. Yeah. Was that Philippines? Uh, it was off of uh, Alibaba. Ah, but this, that, be yeah. before people knew what Alibaba was. Though, right. right. That shit sold yeah. out quick. What what was uh <clears throat> what was it per piece? How much was it per piece? Fuck, I don't even remember. Jerseys back then was probably like you probably like seventy to a bird, right? Oh, I think it said "fuck face" on the back or something. It like said that. "fuck face" on the back. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> my, I'm gonna give you my one because I always ask about it. Do you go know ahead. what I'm gonna ask you about? What is it? About the uh, wait, the one that we did? Yeah. Okay, go. That that I always ask about that I'll never get is the tribe bucket. Oh yeah, the tribe bucket. Tribe bucket was a it was it was a it was a midnight marauders like like camp like I don't know yeah. what they call it skin right the, it was a midnight marauders print print yes yeah. yes yeah that was part of like this uh like uh, golden age of hip hop pack that we did and then we did another one with a uh, the old dirty bastard uh, license but like PB drew like old dirty bastard oh cartoony like like his steezy, right yeah his style hey. Shout out to PB. I don't know you, but I I, I fuck with your art. Tough. I, PB, I see you. I see you, dude. This motherfucker is talented. You know he he just released his own comic book. It's the, called a Thud. You gotta check it out. T H U D. T H U D. What, what's the Instagram for for PB? Uh, it's PB. P E A B E. P E A B. Interesting fact. It's because he loves peanut butter. Interesting fact. I know I know about him because of pins. Yes. I'll, oh. I'll, yeah. I'll, I I I like I didn't know he was finally hit, but I I knew I knew the name because of the pins and his his logo is like a P with teeth, right? It looks like it has teeth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, why you sm don't smile at me like <laughs> nah, that? I just, I just you see how this guy smiled at me? What's no? Wrong? I just no, I just no. I love this guy, dude. PB is like one of like my fucking closest dudes. Shout out to you, PB, for for dealing with this. You said that already. I know. Yeah, Shout to everyone. Twice. That yeah, that's why, sir. And here we are. Yeah, dude. no, I mean like this dude. He's just fucking talented, man, and he lives at the at the other SF now. So Santa Fe, Santa Fe. Yeah, I didn't forget. Call back. <laughs> I, fucking, I hate that because he's like, I moved to SF. I was like, what am I going to see? He's like, it's Santa Fe. Like, is he fuck? is he doing art out there? Uh, he's like working remote. He's still doing his like art thing, but you know. Shout out to everyone that's little crazy. No, no, that dude's dope. <clears throat> yeah. That dude's uh, like, like I said, I don't know him. I know the art because of the pins. I was I was heavy in the pins for yeah. I still kind of am. I got some nerd shit. Like the last thing I bought at Alimini Flea was like was an actual pin. Yeah, I have <laughs> I have all of his pins. If you see, if you see a pin that has like a Marvel character or some sort of comic book comic book character who's like in the Jordan pose, he's the one who started that. That Jump Man. Yeah, he's the one who did that, and it got fucking recycled. Yeah, and, yeah. It's he was the first one to tweak like yeah. 
All the Marvel characters, huh? Yeah, I think he did. He even did Obama. Oh, yeah. Pins were a thing because it was easy turnaround. Super one size, easy. one size fits all. Yeah. Streetwear game. If I, if anything I do in streetwear that I love, if hella smalls left. <laughs> hella, I love you. One size fits all has to be your. If, if, if you want to start off. Like and you, this is like this is free game an hour in. If you want to start in streetwear, do not do shirts. No, no, do not. Do not do shirts. Do hats. Do pins. Yeah. Do patches. Do one size fits all. Do stuff. Sell like sell your brand first, and then you could build to shirts. Shirts is the worst investment up front. You know uh, why? I unless play- it's, unless it's pre order. Pre order game is, yeah. is a big thing. Yeah. Direct. Direct, uh, what is it? Direct to consumer. Yeah. Direct where they actually like just print it out and they fucking send it. Oh, DTG. Yeah, DTG. I don't like that. It sucks, but I mean that's the most like because you're not stuck with all this shit. It it you have to know if if you could if you could get twenty people twenty five people to buy a shirt, you could still screen it. Yeah, but you really have to be your design has to be strong and you have to have minimal colors. Yeah, Th- like that's that's the game. Like, well, that's the game now, right? Everyone who everyone now. who has a small brand, they just pre order. And that shit takes forever to get to your door. Yeah, it sucks. But I mean, I blame fast fashion. Uh, fast fashion. If you dude. message me Gus four one five, I'll I will send you a Golden State Lifestyle magnet right, or let me, pin. Let me message that message right me now. Gus four one five. I have a bunch of them. Uh, a company fucked up and sent me some shit. If you message me, be like pins, yo. I got you. That's funny. I don't. I got you. Do you have any money? He does actually. I'll get you some. You was a real motherfucker, hey, dog. Man. I've only seen you like seven times. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. God damn. Yeah. It. Yeah. I mean, damn. That street. That whole streetwear phase was. That amazing. was fun. It was fun. That was fun. What is that like? That for us, it was like early 2010s. Oh, uh, we. Got, uh, I think. I think we got in like. Seven, like 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 t- 2007 as far yeah. uh, maybe the first shirt the first f word uh, shirt the first first unofficial f word shirt was actually a manny pacquiao shirt it was manny pacquiao that uh and then it said mama said knock you out but then it was everything was ll cool j like he had a bucket yeah he had he had the he had the uh, he had a uh, a championship belt and in, in, in the belt instead of having like the instead of having like whatever champion it was it was like the, the the first F word logo that that made print like yeah. inside the belt it was it was that kind of steezy you yeah. know what I mean very gold chain neck uh, gold, gold chain t shirt steezy see it I think that's the thing like you know you're buying a piece of art nobody fucking cares anymore you had back then the people who used to buy shit would take chances you know what I'm saying but you have to buy it in person yeah you of have course. you have to like you have to see it in traffic nowadays you can see it on your phone which the game is easy you just have to really like. You, if you really want to do it, keep swinging. Like it's, I can't say stop. Keep swinging. I don't know, man. I think, you know, with with the whole fucking like IG and like social media, if you think about it, right? Prior to like social media, everyone used to dress differently regionally. Yes. No. Right? No. I, I was thinking about this too. Yeah. California, yeah you're right. You're California right. was way different from New York. Way different from uh, Vancouver. Right. That's including language. Yes. Cap. Yeah, that cap shit. That 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 that's an Instagram slang. But now you see everybody, right? Everybody who posts pictures on Instagram doesn't matter where they're from. They all fucking dress the same. Well, I don't know if it started from a region as far as cap, but as far as I how it spread out to me. But yeah, no, yeah. I feel you. Yeah, like e- no, even in the Bay, you knew people were from different areas because, like, like out here. Like it would be like Dickies and like uh, a SF hat or some kind of like SF jersey, right? A gi- like a Giants hat. You, if you're from Frisco, you have at least seven <laughs> Giants hats. And if you had, a, <laughs> and if you had a packable Old Navy Anorak, then you're from Daly City. Yeah, no, straight up a yellow one, a yellow <laughs> one with a white shirt and like jeans, and then you wear you wear the K Swiss, the white K Swiss, white K Swiss, dog, white K Swiss, five stripes all day. <laughs> what was the first shoe you, you remember asking your mom to buy you? I remember, like, fucking yesterday. What were they? Jordan 4s, Oreos. They were really called 4s. They were just Jordans. We the went. new Jordans. <laughs> the new Air Jordans. You're, if, you're, if your parents call it Air Jordan, that means they've been known about Jordan. <laughs> we went to the foot action that was right next to the McDonald's in Ceremony. Oh, and it smelled like fries as soon as you hit, <laughs> as soon as you walk in foot action. And I didn't know mm. what size. 
uh, and I was I was uncomfortable taking off my shoe and using that little thing that they measure. Oh, with. your foot was right pump. Oh, it was right. It was right. Yeah, he was wearing the, the church socks, and you know, like, <laughs> you know <laughs> church socks is thin and shiny. And they're like, Lord, Lord, Lord. So, Slip and slide. So that I remember somebody telling me that usually anyone who's Filipino wears a nine and a half. So I got a nine and a half, and I used to squeeze into that shit every day, thinking like th- this is the right size. Yeah, but that that shit hurt. So if you just got the ten, you would have been all right. Nope, eleven. You out here crying about your shoe size? <laughs> you know what? You fuck you. <laughs> shout out to you. Yeah. Shout out to you. Your diarrhea dog, man. That's Kawawa. Shout, shout. Sorry, B. Feel, feel, feel bad for me, y'all. Yeah, you know I do. You got here crying. <laughs> Shut <Snorlux>. the <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. Whatever. Sorry, it's love. It's love. It's all love. It's always love. Only, um, only on the pod. Only on the pod. <laughs> Ay, uh, yeah, yeah. It's uh it's one oh five. Let's 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 wrap it up. Yeah, let's Ramel. Try to, let's try to breathe. Yeah, Ramel. <laughs> let us know. Get a neti pot. Ooh. I think I need to get a neti pot. Because What's that? It's the one where you <laughs> It's a teapot <laughs> that you that you that you heat up on, on the stove, right? Yeah. And then you pour it through your nose and it it can it can uh, it channels out through your other nostril. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot water through your nose, right? Yeah, here's what I have. If anybody wants to send me a neti pot, hit me up on Instagram <laughs> at coolmobe. That's K O O L M O E B E E. We can do the Soleil lime. <laughs> this is the same thing as a neti pot. It pops. It's carbonation through <laughs> it's your a, nose. It's fizzy. Oh <laughs> my god. It feels like my foot fell asleep in my nose. Just put ginger ale and like Vicks. You'll be <laughs> fine. You'll be fine, dude. And Anything with ginger, like yeah, ginger ale, mix. Uh, so get an eddy pot. Get, you know, somebody sent me an eddy pot. Yeah, yeah. You you hear as I agree. Ig, we didn't even open a crinkle cut truffle sea salt uh, mono. Uh, One thirty four, man. I, I thought about it today. Don't 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 be great and show other people that you're great. Teach others to be great. Oh you. my guy, mono. Oh. Yeah. Just because you're good at something, don't show everyone how good you are. Let them teach them to be good with you. Oh no, that was good, huh? Fuck that was so I, oh, I just fuck. thought about that today. Today? Well, I mean, yeah, because I recently started teaching other people to do stuff. Yeah, and, self, you, know, and you know you're good at it. And I'm like, damn, these niggas don't need me. I just <laughs> fucking teach them to do stuff. Self sufficiency is everything, yeah. though, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, and on top of that, right? My wife told me. To wear slippers. <laughs> Don't depend on other people for your dream. Right? If you really want it, learn like like Mono saying, learn yeah. your craft. Like learn perfect your, craft. your per- perfect your craft. Perfect your craft. <laughs> perfect, perfect, your, perfect. Perfect your craft. But hey, Mono. God damn, that was good, bro. <laughs> yeah. Say it again. Say it again. One more time. One more time. D- d- don't. If you're great at something, teach others to be great too. But, you know what I mean? Can't wait for that pizza. <laughs> it's on Bar- the way. Barbecue, it's, barbecue, I, I gotta, pineapple. I got a text. It's on the way. <laughs> uh, amazing. What? Amazing. Like to to see where to see where you know the pot has grown as far as how many people uh, has has blessed time with us. Marvin, like, at least thirty hours. Hey, shout out to shout out to you, Marv. But just like just just the growth of it, like I would give Mono ideas all day of stuff I wanted to do, just because I keep wanting to work with them. Right. I he went with me to a we we went with me to a dunk exchange and we was interviewing like random people and I was using like my phone as a mic, like real shit. Remember that Mono? I we was at Cab Palace, and then uh, Lacer I, I interviewed Lacer up. I yeah. interviewed I don't know. Was, we, we was just running around doing shit just because we had access and. Uh, that all, I want to say started we eating, but it actually started in the campaign album, and how 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 we me and Mono been rocking like every time it was him, it, uh, every time it was him, it was me, you know what I mean? Every time it was me, it was him. So he's he's got in my path a long way, and it's it's amazing because you grow and you like he says you grow and you have to learn and get out there, and then I'm so grateful. For everyone's time, and this is 134, the Free 99 podcast. Love y'all.